Witness the breakneck speed of America's latest hypersonic jet. The U.S. is actively trying to outdo itself. Reports are coming in about the latest U.S. hypersonic jet, which can outpace even the SR-72. The U.S.'s bid to launch a newer hypersonic jet is driven by its competition with China, and now the goal is to design a jet which can reach five times the speed of sound. In this video, we'll talk about the latest hypersonic jet which the U.S. is working hard on, so stay tuned. Now before we continue further, I would request you to subscribe to the channel, so stay tuned. The most interesting aspect of this latest hypersonic jet is that it is being developed by an American startup which aims to outdo the great SR-72. This startup specializes in development of commercial hypersonic airliners, and the team behind this startup now aims to develop planes which have the power to transport passengers across the Atlantic Ocean in not more than 90 minutes. This new hypersonic jet, called Quarter Horse, has been inspired by the legendary American horse breed which really makes its mark in short distances. Announced by Hermes in 2019, this hypersonic jet has been designed to be a remote-controlled jet which can attain speeds exceeding Mach 4 speeds and break the records established by the all-time great SR-71. In August 2020, Hermes secured a 1.5 million USD contract with the USAF. The USAF sees a lot of potential for quarter horse in the US presidential fleet. In addition, NASA has also been eyeing the project closely, since this jet could potentially attain speeds exceeding Mach 5 and cover as much as 4,500 miles. NASA has a history of using supersonic jets like these. For example, the North American X-15 rocket-powered hypersonic jet reached Mach 6.7. With the announcement of Quarter Horse, we can potentially see a new chapter in the development of hypersonic jets. The addition of NASA into the project can provide many benefits. As stated before, it has a history of producing jets like the X-15 and the experimental X-43 aircraft. This means that NASA has the technical knowledge and expertise to evaluate the aircraft's technical capacity and provide any insights into how this technology could be made commercially viable. The Quarter Horse engine is a combination of turbojet and ramjet and is a proprietary TBCC technology of Hermes, nicknamed Chimera. TBCC stands for Turbine-Based Combined Cycle. The transition from turbojet to ramjet technology is what makes hypersonic flights a reality. The GE J8521 turbojet cores are the refashioned models from the earlier J85s, which have seen extensive use over the years. These turbojet cores have been tested under various conditions, and results attaining Mach 5 speeds have been published in a variety of settings. The successful results prompted the team to pursue more grand projects, based on the quarter horse projects such as Halcyon, which is designed to be a commercial hypersonic airliner. Let's talk a little bit more about the hybrid TBCC engine. The initial testing was done with a small-scale prototype based on an engine which had a 290-pound thrust TJ100 turbojet engine. The innovation lay in their use of their own pre-cooling design, and combined with the ramjet engine, this was a bold step forward. The ultimate goal of this technological push is that a flight across the Atlantic could be undertaken in just under 90 minutes. During the test phase, the engineers used the turbojet technology to accelerate the engine to Mach 3.2 using pre-cool, and then transition to the ramjet technology to accelerate to Mach 4 and beyond. The real challenge was in insulating the turbojet from the intense heat generated by the ramjet engine during high speed when temperatures could exceed 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit. This is where the proprietary pre-cool technology of Chimera can be seen in action. The pre-cool setting lowers the temperature of the air entering the turbojet. At around Mach 3, the air inflow is directed to the ram engine instead, which compresses the incoming air at high pressure and then mixes it with fuel and ignites it for thrust. The real landmark achievement of the Hermes is that it has accomplished all of that without relying on rockets for acceleration. Instead, the startup has come up with its own hypersonic air-breathing engine, which will be a huge step towards reusable operational hypersonic jets. Imagine if in the near future you could use this technology for commercial purposes, giving customers a solution for covering huge distances in a matter of minutes. Another unique advantage is that the quarterback aircraft could be used with existing aircraft infrastructure, which means that there is no need to construct new airports. 
And yet another intriguing aspect of this new engine is that 15% of the engine was produced through 3D printing. Team engineers acquired large-scale Sapphire 3D printers from Velo 3D, a company which is already becoming very famous for providing metal manufacturing technology without any lapse in overall build quality. However, overcoming this challenge in Atlanta was only one step forward as the team merely displayed that they could use their patented engine to get to their desired speeds at sea level. At altitudes of up to 80,000 feet, temperatures would be an environmental obstacle, and reaching full speeds at that height could be a bit more problematic. This is where most of the research is currently taking place. The website of Hermes puts the projected flight test of Quarter Horse in 2024, which is not really that far into the future. This brings this video to an end. Like this video if you found something of value from it. See you in the next one, and until then, take care!